Hello, and thank you for joining the Green Button Alliance in presenting the Green Button 101 webinar. You're about to hear from Alina Lucas. She's the co-founder and CEO of Utility API. Utility API is what we call a third-party company, a company that acts as a provider of services to homeowners and ancillary businesses. For example, their tools can make it easier for solar installers to estimate potential costs and savings for customers, giving them an accurate picture of what their potential savings might be after installing solar panels. Alina is familiar with both sides of the equation as she began her career at Pacific Gas and Electric, where she worked on low-income energy efficiency programs and distributed generation. This year, Forbes announced that she has been honored with their prestigious 30 Under 30 award in their energy category. And like me, she's a Detroit native, now living out on one of the coasts. Next, you'll hear from Paul Monet. Paul is the project manager of the CS Information Governance Organization at Southern California Edison. Paul's an active participant in our technical task force called the Open ADE, or Open Automated Data Exchange. His invaluable contributions have been instrumental in moving not only Southern California Edison further along, but also in enhancing the standard for everyone. For SCE, Paul has provided both internal and external presentations detailing the Green Button ecosystem today and where he wants to take it to enhance interaction with SCE's customers in the future. As you'll see from this first slide, the Green Button is a journey. The Green Button is not only a White House call to action to provide energy information to the consumers of that energy information, but it is a journey that now includes natural gas and water. So utilities that provide natural gas and water can also provide those data in the Green Button format. We like to call this a game changer for the utility industry like Wi-Fi was for the homes. Being able to access the outside information without having to install anything new inside the homes is what gives Green Button its benefit over many other technologies that require the purchase of hardware to be installed or interfaces to be uh, connected on the outside or inside of a home. And it can also be used for businesses. Uh, any business that has a meter currently collecting information uh, will be able to see the same information available in their green button format. We also want to point out that customers will have a choice of energy management applications. This could be on a smartphone or on a computer or any other uh, dedicated software appliance. And we want to point out that this is just another one of those aspects of standardization, very much the way things are going for the Internet of Things. We want to make sure that things are standardized so that it is one platform regardless of how many different utilities are implementing it and how many different third-party companies are using that platform. I want to give you now a little bit of a roadmap of where we have been and where we're going. Uh, initially started by the White House uh, and the Department of Energy and the National Institutes of Standards and Technology. Many of the technologies rolled out of efforts that were going on with the Smart Grid Interoperability Panel. Those efforts had been rolled into a standard that had now become the Green Button Standard, and it was ratified by NASB, the North American Energy Standards Board, as the Energy Service Provider Interface. The first availability of the standard was available at the end of 2011, and it was in the form of downloading a file of data, and we'll talk about that in just a moment. Uh, then there were applications that were uh, put together through some hackathons. I'll, I'll give an example of the hackathon, a clean tech hackathon up in Massachusetts. And that's a hackathon that Elena will speak about more in just a bit. The DOE decided that they needed to have such a hackathon so that we could see uh, applications being built utilizing these energies. And, uh, and understanding what can be done with it. As you'll notice on the bottom of our timeline, we've listed what's happening uh, north of the U.S. in Canada. In Ontario specifically, the Ministry of Energy uh, had a call to action for the same exact green button roadmap in 2012 based on 
the success of what they have found in the DOE apps for energy. Toward the end of 2012, Green Button Connect My Data was made available, where these energy information pieces can be shared with third-party companies by the authorization of the consumer. And we'll, t again, talk about that one along with Download My Data in just a moment. Moving on through the American Energy Data Challenge and then the Provincial Green Button Pilot, a presidential memo was given to the federal agencies from the Obama administration, informing them that they need to make sure this information is available for federal buildings. And that helped accelerate the growth of where we are today. The standard then was refined and deployed officially as a standard. In 2014, more standardization refinement took place creating a derived standard that is now the basis of today's green button. London Hydro in Ontario, Canada was the first utility to create a cloud-based platform for providing these services to their customers. In February of 2015, the Green Button Alliance was launched. It was launched at the request of the Department of Energy and the National Institutes of Standards and Technology and the White House as a way to take the public initiative into the private sector. The Green Button Alliance is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are a public benefit organization for the charitable purpose of education and rollout of the platform. In July of 2015, Download My Data certifications began. In 2016, Ontario began conducting Green Button policy workshops and New York began looking at ways to incorporate the Green Button for the utilities that serve their areas. Ontario began developing business cases for mandating Green Button across the province and the Green Button Connect My Data certifications are slated to begin at the start of 2017. As part of the White House's my Data Initiative, Download My Data and Connect My Data comprise the way to receive energy usage information and water usage information by either downloading a file or connecting your data directly to a third party with permissions. For downloading My Data, one needs only to log into their utility website, look for the green button area of the website, choose how much you want to receive, Download those data into an XML file, which is formatted specifically to the Green Button standard. And then give that file to a third-party company or use software to examine the file yourself. You do this each time that you want to receive new amounts of data. That could be monthly or even looking at things on an annual basis. Connect My Data works in two different ways. One, either starting on a utility website and choosing from a list of third parties that meet your needs, perhaps for sizing solar arrays or for reducing overall use, time of rate, or in general. Or the second method, starting at a third party company's website or in their application, bouncing over to the utility's website to enter your credentials and then bouncing back to the third party website again. In either case, you will choose how much data you wish to share and for how long. You will authorize those data to be shared automatically. Then you will visit the third-party website or use their application to benefit from the services they provide. Green button data are available to homeowners and renters, businesses, developers, of course, and provided by utilities and municipalities. We've spoken about how homeowners and renters might use these data to determine how many solar panels they might need on a home, or to better understand how much water is being used per person in a home. Essentially, for a homeowner, green button data is a digital receipt in a computer-readable format. Businesses can also use green button data for monitoring electric use, gas use, and water use, just as homeowners and renters. For businesses, multiple meters are not a problem with the Green Button platform. Green Button data can be a part of the business automation system. Developers of applications are also able to use these data. 
In fact, they're the ones who will make the solar array financing calculators, make comparisons on websites for energy resellers, provide gaming for energy savings, and allow you to look into historical interval data without having any additional hardware installed at your location. For utilities, including municipalities and co-ops, the Green Button Standard is easy to provide. It's an open standard that's available today. The Green Button platform is in simple XML format, a machine-readable and textual construct. Whether you need to meet a state mandate or want to offload support to complementary third-party companies, whether you're concerned about proprietary formats and security, or whether you simply want to make these data available as a benefit of your services, the Green Button platform is for you. We welcome you to join the many governments, solution providers, supporters, and utilities that comprise the Green Button Alliance. Membership is open to all, and there are several levels of membership available. Please don't hesitate to contact us if you'd like to know more about the many benefits that we have to offer at the Green Button Alliance. And if you're a utility and you have not yet rolled out smart meters, fear not. Utilities can provide customer use data without having smart meters installed. If or when you do install smart meters, there is no change in data format. It is a seamless transition from providing these data with monthly intervals or quarterly intervals and moving into hourly intervals or daily intervals. I'll now hand over the reins to Alina Lucas of Utility API. Hi, my name is Alina Lucas, and I'm co-founder and CEO of Utility API. So Utility API is a universal platform for energy data. We've built integrations with all current U.S. Green Button implementations, so we really understand the need of what it means to implement Green Button. Uh, we also work with utilities to validate, implement, and test internal data infrastructures, including Green Button Download by Data and Green Button Connect. Jeremy touched on this earlier, but Green Button Download, Download by Data is available to the consumer through the utility portal, and they navigate through a couple of screens and then select Download My Own Data. With Green Button Connect, third parties are able to connect directly with the utility. So when a customer, a homeowner, or a business authorizes that third party, the third party receives that data from the utility. In order to build those connections with the utility, the third party has to go to each individual utility and request that they become a authorized third party. The processes to become a third party are different for each utility. And so what we've done is we've done that for um, our customers so that we're a universal platform across all the different data implementations out there. You know, we understand what consumers and app makers want and need. So uh, the solar companies, energy efficiency companies, property management companies, when they want access to data, instead of going to each individual utility, we've built this one interface between all of them. And um, We've built this the, the interface to be as simple as possible for consumers, whether they are residential or commercial properties, and that the flow of data comes out of the utilities in a way that's easy to be managed. And Green Button Alliance has done, done a great job building out um, the case studies for all of this. And so um, we'll hop into some of those later, but uh, also wanted to bring up that um, we have presented at New York Rev and the California Public Utilities Commission about data infrastructure and the best practices between all the different utilities and how they've implemented uh, Green Button in different ways. Um, there's a lot of lessons to be learned and the, the standard moving forward is just gonna get better and better. An important part of, of Green Button and, and what Utility API does as well is that it accesses consumer-centric first and foremost and consumers are able to revoke access at any time. And that's what uh, the Department of Energy Data Guard program is all about. It's about um, the uh, privacy and security of smart meter data. And uh, we've also received uh, support from Department of Energy 
gunshot grants in order to build out um, the, the standard data infrastructure between all the different utilities. Um, so I'm happy to talk about some of those specifics. Feel free to email me about that. Um, but for those listening in, um, what we can really help with is implementation. Um, whether it's third-party technical registrations, if you have questions about connecting to SEE's green button platform, we are more than happy to help with that. And if utilities have questions about how to implement um, a, a green button platform and the best practices from the industry, we're happy to provide that insight. That is what we've presented to regulators before, and we're always happy to present to additional um, commissions and policymakers about the benefits of data platforms and the best practices. Um, we're located in Oakland, California, and uh, being located here next to Silicon Valley, taking all those data best practices and, and bringing them to the energy sector is what really uh, gets us excited and really unlocking the potential of, of this data access. Um, and then also what we can help with is that data access across multiple utilities. Um, as I mentioned, we have uh, built integrations with all the different implementations. Um, happy to answer any questions on that. An example of how app developers have used this data, um, this is a company called Energy B. Uh, with support of Green Button Alliance, we were out at the Boston Clean Web Hackathon. And a hackathon is an event where people come together to create company ideas and create basic um, demos of a potential business um, over the course of a weekend. And this one was clean energy focused. And Energy B used our API to build uh, this dashboard where uh, they, were, they were wanting to do a Fitbit for energy use. And so pulling data from um, our open data sets, we did an open data set with City of Oakland, and then we have um, a demo data for residential companies as well, or residential uh, consumers as well. They pull that data in and are able to create trend lines of energy usage. You're able to see the um, cadence of when the bills are due, how much they um, a someone has spent previously, and we always try to connect uh, collect at least 13 months worth of data. And the data that we are providing is uh, the historical billing and usage data. And we itemize all the line items, including demand charges, and that's important for commercial properties. But um, all of the data comes together and it is available via our API. Um, some utilities have implemented um, ways to push data to third parties, um, but we've We've taken that a step further to make that available via an API. And so what Energy B did was create this app. They're able to gamify energy usage, driving um, down um, energy usage among friends. So just it was a, it was a great thing to see uh, people that are from the tech space in Boston get excited about energy efficiency and building an app over the course of a weekend using our the, the green button data that has been unlocked. Another example of how companies use green button and utility API data is with site assessment for a clean energy technology. So energy tool based, they are a solar proposal software tool, mostly for commercial properties. Um, they do really great NEM 2.0 analysis. They've uh, fully integrated with us so that you're able to link utility API account with energy tool base. So we're able to directly import data from it's, it's interval data coming from the utilities. We collect it, standardize it between all the different um, forms, and then it comes into energy tool base. And you're able to select which meters you want. You're able to pull in that interval data. So it's a seamless integration. It really reduces the the friction around data collection and then getting it into the software tool that you may have or even into an Excel spreadsheet. You know that there's a lot of different tools that different industries use. So there's uh, different software proposal tools. There's Excel. There's 
even getting data into Energy Star. Um, building a, a universal platform means that that friction between all these different platforms is reduced. So um, those are two key examples um, for Energy Toolbase. The data gets slurped into Energy Toolbase, and it's a much easier experience, reducing a lot of um, you know wait and see moments uh, for getting that data. Um, I'm reducing the amount of time that an engineer has to uh, spend cleaning up data as well. So um, those are a couple of examples and uh, looking forward to any questions uh, that may come through the Green Button Alliance. Um, thank you so much. Again, my name is Alina Lucas and I'm co-founder and CEO of Utility API. Come visit us on our website and uh, email us if you have any questions about data access, access to multiple utilities, and any questions about green button implementations and best practices around those. So thank you so much. Thank you for those insights, Elena. That was really informative. Next, I'd like to hand the reins over to Paul Monette from Southern California Edison. Paul? From Southern California Edison. I am the project manager responsible for implementing the latest enhancement to our green button platform. And I want to thank you for the opportunity to talk to you today about our two green button offerings. So without further ado, let's get started. SCE offers two green button products, green button download my data and green button connect my data. First, I'll talk a bit about our green button connect, our green button download my data product. We launched this in 2013 giving customers the ability to download their interval usage data directly to their computer via our SCE.com website. It's available to customers on demand, meaning they can access their data at any time. Um, there's up to 13 months historical interval usage data available, and it's available in two different file formats. The first one is a .csv file or a comma separated file. Um, this is what I like to call a human readable file, meaning the, the customer could download it and open it in a program such as Microsoft Excel. We also offer the customer the ability to download their data in the, stand, in the standard green button file format, the XML file format. And this is what I like to call a more machine readable or a computer readable file format. So that's green button download my data. And essentially, it gives customers the ability to download their interval usage data at a given point in time. Now let's talk about green button connect my data. We launched this product in 2015, and it gives customers the ability to authorize, authorize the release of their interval usage data to register third parties in an automatic ongoing basis. Later in, 20, in 2016, we enhanced our Connect My Data platform by adding billing, meter, and program participation information. Once authorized by customers, third parties will begin to receive their data within one to five days. For interval usage data, they'll receive this information daily. And for the other types of information, billing, meter, and program participation information, they'll receive that on a monthly or a yearly basis, depending on customer's preference and selection. Also, it's important to note that third parties will receive a one-time 13-month historical usage data file upon the initial data transfer. So that's a high-level overview of our two products. Now let's see how customers can access them. will navigate to our SCE.com website and where, where they will need to log in using their SCE.com user ID and password. It's uh, offered at the top of our site for um, convenience. Once they log in, they'll be taken to a page that looks similar to the one below. As you notice, at the bottom left-hand corner, there's the green button download my data icon. That's the quickest way to get into our tools. So once they click that icon, they'll be taken to a page um, that looks like the one I'm displaying now. At the top is where customers can access our Connect My Data product. And at the bottom is where they can access our Download Your Data 
um, our download your data function. If they click the top one, connect your data, they'll be taken through a series of steps which involves them selecting the third party they want to send their data to, the type of data they want to send, as well as the frequency um, or the duration for how long they want to send that data, whether it's um, for a month, two months, three months, or indefinitely. They, they can select the, the end date as they see fit. Um, for download my data, they stay right on the page that we're displaying. Um, they will need to select the time frame of from and to date. To, they'll need to select the file format. If you remember, we offer a .csv file and the .xml file, the standard green button file format. And also at the bottom of the screen, you'll see they'll need to select their service account in which they want to download their data. They'll click the download button and then they'll be prompted to save the file to the computer where they could give it any name that they see fit. So that's how they access the two tools that we offer on our website. I talk a bit about how much these sites are being utilized today by our customers. And I'll start with the download my data um, portion first. As you can see, we've had over 327,000 unique visitors in the calendar year of 2016. And on average, we're seeing around, are between 27 to 41,000 monthly visitors. That's quite a lot of traffic to this tool. On the Green Button Connect side, um, we currently have over 19,000 active customer authorizations. Um, this is for 13 registered third parties. Um, we have another additional 11 third parties in our registration queue, um, just waiting to be onboarded to our platform. And just to give you a sense of the type of third parties that we have on our platform today, um, we have solar companies, we have demand response providers, energy management companies, as well as a slew of um, different types of third parties that are both onboarded as well as in our queue awaiting to be onboarded. So that's the end of my presentation. Um, again, I want to thank you for the time to talk to you about our green button offerings. And if you have any questions, please go to our website um, where you can send us an email or with your, your question or your, your concern or your feedback. Thank you, Paul. And again, our thanks to both Utility API and Southern California Edison. And we want to thank you for listening today. We appreciate it. And we hope this was informative to you.